I know, I know what you're thinking. Two hauls, back to back. I could explain. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I just did a haul that was like a super random haul and this one is quite random too. But I asked you guys if you wanted to see what I've been hauling from Amazon lately. We're all in quarantine or hopefully we're actually following the rules and staying quarantined. As tempting as the nice weather is, please, please just for the greater good of all humanity, just stay home. So for most people, staying home, bored, means online shopping. All the stores are totally taking advantage and creating like quarantine sales, sick and crazy. But I did purchase some things on Amazon. Having these boxes just like sitting on my table is just bothering me and I just wanna share with you guys what I've been getting. Some of these products are for my nails which are in shambles. Like worst condition they've ever, ever been in my life. I talked about it, I think in my favorites video, but they are bad, 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 bad. And apparently I have like nothing, no supplies here at home because I would just always go to the salon and well, that's not an option anymore. So your girl had to get some things that is just like, Rose, why didn't you have that? Like who drinks wine and doesn't have a wine stopper? I'll wait, me. Apparently I just drink one glass and like let the wine just sit out and get all nasty on the counter or I drink the whole bottle. You know those moments where you're sitting at home and you like need something or you want something and you're just like, I don't have that. Like such a weird moment. And that's when Amazon comes in handy. My lobby is filled with Amazon packages. So I know I'm not the only one. I know everyone is getting essentials and non-essentials on there. So we're just gonna jump right in. First up, I purchased this 12 pack of gold straws. So I needed some reusable straws, especially now that I have my Nespresso and I'm part of the Nespresso gang. I feel so fancy, but I need reusable straws and I said well if I'm gonna get some reusable straws I might as well get some cute ones so these came in a pack of 12 you get both straight straws and bendy straws well not really bendy but they're bent and they're really pretty super aesthetic you know for your smoothie or your iced coffee or even your water so you get 12 straws two cleaners to like clean inside the straw especially for like when you're drinking smoothies I'm like thick pieces of chunky fruit get stuck in there and it also came in a little case which I got rid of but I should have kept it I just hate keeping little like pouches and bags I just don't know where to put things like that but you really can't beat this price $9.99 for 12 straws two cleaners and a little pouch these are dishwasher safe and they work for 30 ounce and 20 ounce tumblers like the Yeti I don't know it says that in the title but yeah gold straws because saving the world one straw at a time. So like I was saying, my nails are not doing so hot. They are peeling and they just won't grow. Like anytime there's a little bit of growth, it just cracks. So they just keep breaking. Not Rosita approved. So I got some cuticle oil, obviously to moisturize my cuticles. I feel like your nails can grow long, strong, and healthy if your cuticles are dry, which mine are extremely dry. This is the Cucho or Cucio, I don't know, Cucho I think it is, or Cucio. And it's a milk and honey cuticle oil, also $9.99. So it is obnoxiously long. Large, which is a good thing because you get more product. I don't even know how much is in here 75 milliliters and it does have a dropper I'm gonna go ahead and just put some on right now because I want to smell it I can't believe I didn't have any cuticle oil like nothing I had vitamin E oil which I was using but I wanted something that was like with a dropper and just easy to use I feel so weird like smelling my nails but wow that smells really good it smells like a spa I'm into the scent okay that makes me so happy I mean I knew I was gonna like it milk and honey usually I would like a scent like that but I needed cuticle oil badly and then I was talking to one of you guys on Instagram DM shout out to all of you that I talk to pretty much like on a daily basis on DM like I love talking to you guys we're pretty much best friends I always say that but at this point we're going strong and I honestly love you guys and I love when you put me on to products I'm actually terrible with names like in general in my personal life like day-to-day like -day basis someone can tell me their name and I'll forget it I really feel like Nemo like I just forget things instantly it's not that I don't care it's just I don't know my mind just works so quickly so I'm definitely more of like a visual person so forgive me for not knowing your name but I was talking to a supporter about my nails about the situation going on and she told me about this nail hardener it's in Spanish I was gonna order Kimica Alemana which is I'm pretty sure like a Colombian or Mexican nail strengthener but and it like helps you grow your nails but that one burns I actually had one and I'm pretty sure it was expired because it was like super thick so I said you know what let me give this one a try like I trust you guys tratamiento curativo de unias 
Okay, it's like bright pinky red, which I didn't know it was gonna be this color. Obviously, it's gonna go on clear, but it says it has natural ingredients. I can't even see it, it's so small. Argan oil and vitamin E oil. Wow, like is my vision going bad or are these lights just really bright? So yeah, a nail hardener, nail strengthener because these bad boys, I don't even think I have like one layer of nail or maybe it's just one layer of nail. Like when I wash my hands, the water like seeps through. You can see the water through my nails. I pretty much have clear nails right now, like no nail bed. I love that for me. This next item, someone has to lock me up because this is the most random thing I've ever purchased. Probably the dumbest thing I've ever purchased and I'm questioning myself now that I have it. Deep cleaning my kitchen and my bathroom was definitely a setup because it made me wanna go on Amazon and buy things that I thought I needed for those areas and my toilet, the way that it's set up is I don't have a tank. So it's literally like those old school, just toilets and you know, the handle to flush. So there's no tank and so I'm used to having a tank and I grew up always having a tank for my toilet. And what I would do or what my mom would do is we would use these little blue drop-ins. You would throw it into the tank and boom, fresh blue water smelling good all the time you walk into the bathroom and it smells nice. Not that my toilet stinks because it doesn't because I clean it pretty frequently, back, front, sides, all that. But I want to have my water smelling good too, okay? Just because I don't have a tank doesn't mean I can't have nice fresh water. So sometimes I get the little clip-on situations like Lysol, they all have them. But I don't really feel like they do that much. I don't know, maybe the ones I'm getting. Then they have these like push gel contraptions you can get. And I did get one and it just left like a mess. It was just like a goop of blue and it just like dropped and didn't do anything. So while on Amazon, I came across a toilet cleaning stamp and it is so like gimmicky, but kind of cool at the same time. So it looks like this, you get two, a pink and a blue. It's basically the same thing as like those mainstream Clorox products, except this one comes with a stamp. So you can leave little flowers, pink and blue flowers, on the rim of your toilet. I'm gonna go ahead and insert a clip from the Amazon page of some designs that people created on their toilets. I don't know, it's kind of cool because it's unique, something different. I don't know how I'm gonna feel when I actually have it in my toilet because y'all know I'm very like simple, minimalist. I don't like a lot of color, I don't like a lot of things going on. So this kind of seems a little cheesy, but a lot of the reviews were saying that it actually really freshens up your whole bathroom and your whole toilet will smell amazing and that it's cute and easy to use. I don't know y'all your girl is out here buying toilet cleaning stamps So you're gonna leave the stamps there and when the water comes down into the bowl It's like cleaning the toilet so not only is it smelling good It's actually cleaning for you, but I wouldn't rely on this for cleaning my toilet, but it will keep it fresh Hopefully, I don't know. We'll see next up. I got a fabric shaver I feel like everyone at one point got one of these on Amazon. I feel like there was a wave of like Amazon videos and then everyone and their mama was talking about a fabric shaver. And guess what? I fell into the trap and I also have one. But it's a cool nifty thing to have. Kind of looks like something you would use for a pedicure, but it's for fabric shaving. So there you have those little bolitas on your leggings, on your sweater, on your slippers, on your couch. So they're not exactly just like lint balls. They're just, they call them bobbles. They're just like accumulated fabric. So this is ideal for all wool products and fabrics, extra large cutting head, three adjustable cutting lengths, two speed settings, runs on two AA batteries. And yeah, I really got this because my favorite slippers, which are no longer being made by Nordstrom, have those little like bolitas and I wanted to kind of give them like a refresh. And also for my couch, although my couch really hasn't gotten those like little pills yet, I just wanted to have this. And I like this one because it has the clear window so you can actually see the fabric. Kind satisfying to see all of that lint and all of that accumulated fabric go away so another nail product this is a glass nail file and I can't believe that I don't own a nail file. Like, okay, Rose, you get your nails done at the salon, but like, you don't even have a nail file? Like, that's how you really know I don't do my nails. I'm like struggling to open anything because I just have like nail beds. I'll have all of the exact products linked down below. There were so many nail files to choose from with so many reviews. I went with this one because it had the best reviews and I liked the color. It's this really cute pink and it comes with this case. So because it's a glass file, you wanna be careful. You don't wanna drop it, it can break. 
I am going to try, I'm going to attempt to at least clean up my nails and maybe put the treatment on, let it rock, and then put like a clear pinky nail polish just because they're looking crazy. Like I can't even take pictures like I normally do with my hands near my face, which is kind of good. It's kind of forcing me to not do that, but a glass nail file because these are way better for your nails. They're definitely less damaging and they're just like softer. If you have like sensitive skin or peeling nails like I do right now, it's important to keep those jagged edges smooth because trust me you don't want to snag like a hanging loose piece of nail on like your hair or like on your sweater because it will rip your nail especially if they're in this kind of weak state so it's important to keep them like trimmed and low and like smooth with no crazy jagged edges which I have right now so we gonna fix that this next item is really random and I'm kind of ashamed because I know it's linked to causing cancer which we don't need that anywhere near us, but this is the Johnson's baby powder. I got it on Amazon because it was like two bucks and it said two day shipping. So I have a bunch of necklaces that got tangled up. They all fell and like tangled into each other and I cannot untangle them for the life of me. After a ton of Google research and YouTube videos, I realized that I needed baby powder and I also needed safety pins, two things I didn't own. I can't believe I didn't own safety pins. Like what if you need to close up your shirt a bit? I don't know, I just didn't have any safety pins and apparently this is the magical combo in order to detangle your necklaces. So I'm gonna put these to the test. Everyone said this was the way you do it. I wanna be able to enjoy my necklaces again. And right now they're just in a ball of mess and I honestly can. Next up, I got a wine stopper. So like I mentioned earlier, I don't have a wine stopper. So I went with this one because of the reviews. I'm like such a review reader. It's so sick because I know some people just make reviews up or they just copy what other people are saying, like I know. But for the most part, I like to read reviews. So a lot of people were saying that this wine stopper in particular will allow you to your wine bottle down without it leaking which is cool I really didn't get it like for that because usually I just have my bottle standing up but more so just to keep it fresh because I don't want to feel like I have to finish a bottle of wine although I can sometimes I just don't want to sometimes I literally just want one glass so I need a wine stopper so that the next day doesn't taste weird red wine to me the next day smells like straight vinegar like I have a really strong sense of smell I can smell it from like the other room it's crazy how strong red wine smells especially as time goes on but we already talked about this I don't like red wine but little wine stopper and it's silver it's cute and for the price you really can't beat it two wine stoppers for $11 not bad not bad at all so now I can enjoy my wine responsibly how many days after opening up a bottle of wine do you guys drink it me personally like one day two days tops but usually I don't even make it to the two day mark. I love me some like dry white wine and I don't know, I just like to drink it in the moment and possibly the next day. That's why I like drinking wine when I'm with someone else so that we can share the bottle. Another nail product. I really don't know, actually I do know. When I got this gel removed, I was in so much pain. I literally wanted to cry. I was home and I was freaking out because they were so thin that they were throbbing. It was so scary and I just pray that my nails are gonna get better. So I was just like, I don't care, give me all the nail tings, give it all to me. And a lot of the information that I found were just saying, moisturize, 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 drink a lot of water, keep those nail beds moisturized, those cuticles moisturized, cause that's like the key. So I got another cuticle oil. Can you believe me? I can. So this one is from the brand CND, which is a popular brand, and this is their solar oil. So this is just another cuticle oil that has vitamin E. Look at the size comparison. So this one would be perfect for your purse because who's gonna really carry this around? I mean, I wouldn't judge you if you do, but this is definitely something that makes more sense. And this one does have a brush as opposed to the dropper, so I like that. So yeah, two cuticle oils. I don't know. Let's just all pray for my nails. So while I was cleaning, I realized that the reason why I don't use my dishwasher is because I don't feel comfortable using it Like I moved into this apartment. It's an older apartment And I think whoever lived here before me just didn't really care about anything like they didn't really clean Because the dishwasher was just not cute like you would open it It wouldn't have a bad smell, but it just didn't smell fresh either like it just smelled old I guess so I went on Amazon because they always come through and I got a washer and dishwasher Freshener and cleaner from the brand Plink. And this is in the fresh 
lemon scent. So it washes away foul odors and removes buildup and residue. You can use this in your washing machine. I don't have a washing machine in my apartment. So you put one of these at the bottom of your dishwasher and you run a cycle. I really just wanted it to give like a good clean and also for it to smell nice when I open it. Those little residues that were in there went away and it did smell much nicer. So I think I'm gonna do another one just to see. And this has citric acid and sodium carbonate. So you wanna be very careful with this. It's very strong and probably not the best for you, but I really want to be able to put dishes in my dishwasher and feel comfortable doing so. Older apartments will give you cheaper rent, but the biggest catch is that they're also really old and a lot of the times weren't really taken care of. So you're gonna actually do more work cleaning and trying to fix things and like painting and doing all of these other things to try to make it look the way you want it. So it really just comes out to the same price as if you were just renting in a nicer building, a newer building. So that was my lesson learned and I can't wait to move into a building one day that has all new appliances. Stainless steel, I'm already calling it. Law of attraction, baby. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen for me. This is one of those YouTube made me buy it items. An electric lighter. I know, I know. So I was getting tired of constantly repurchasing these Bic lighters. These are nice, nothing really wrong with them, you know? Simple to use lighters and I like that it's long and you know, you can light your candles easily but obviously the more you use these, the more it's gonna run out and then you have to run out and buy another one. I was just over having to spend money on lighters so I got a USB electric lighter. So not only does it look cute, it bends which is really nice. This one does not. So if you have like a hard to reach candle or whatever you're lighting, nice, love that. I was reading in some reviews that the noise that this creates could bother your ears or your dog's ears. Are y'all ready for this? How cool. I just saw a little smoke. I don't know why seeing that is a little bit scary for me, but cool, definitely cool. And I love that you can just charge it up because that is so convenient. These days I feel like I'm charging a million things. Camera chargers, portable chargers, my iPhone, my laptop, my lights. Everything is just like rechargeable. I have way too many of these little micro USB cables. Like way too many because everything these days is rechargeable. Which is cool because you just have to plug it in in order for it to work again. You don't have to run out and get batteries or just run out and get something new. It's gonna save you a lot of money in the long run. Super cute and slim profile too. So it'll fit in any drawer nicely. Next up we have this candle from Bear Collections. This is the Boldness Tobacco Vanilla Candle. And isn't this so cute? I love the wood with the black. So this is a coconut soy candle. I know a ton of people only like to burn soy candles just because they're better for you and you're not gonna create that like black smoke in your house, that like suit. I actually did order a wick trimmer, which is one of the items that didn't come in yet. This smells like a Lalabo scent or a Tom Ford scent. It smells rich and just luxurious because of that tobacco and that vanilla. It's like sweet and musky. I would say it's a unisex scent, but leaning on the masculine side. You can actually use this as decor. I love how it looks, especially since my apartment is all white. I like having like little pops of black and wood. What's even more amazing is that Bear Collections is a 100% woman-owned enterprise. The brand owner and designer, Sanja, has always believed in minimalism. That's why she only designs products that are pure, honest, and simple. And each candle is poured and made in Los Angeles, California. So again, they're made from soy and coconut wax that come from natural and renewable sources. They burn slowly, releasing fragrances gradually. Burn time is up to 70 hours. Right now being quarantined, it's not the easiest to get candles and sometimes you don't want to place an order for like 20 candles. So if you just want to get like one candle, Amazon is a good place to get some. I forgot to mention it's an 11 ounce candle so I had to mention that. And the last item that I have here physically with me is this Aroma Santal essential oil. So I posted this on my Instagram story and a lot of you guys bought this because of me. So thank you for trusting me. This smells exactly, like exactly like Le Labo Santal. It's like more than a dupe. It's literally Le Labo Santal but in an essential oil form. So when I placed my order on Amazon, I did get the small bottle, the 10 ml, because I got it to use in my small Vitruvi diffuser. But then after talking to Aromatech, if you saw my last haul, then you know 
They actually sent me the big sized bottles of their oils, which was insane. This one is Dubai and it smells divine. Like these two are definitely my favorites out of all of them. But if you are looking for something that's gonna make your house smell like a hotel, like the Edition Hotel or like Le Labo, you're welcome. You can use this in any diffuser. Obviously they want you to use it with the Aroma Tech diffuser, which doesn't use water. It just uses pure scent, which is awesome. I've been loving mine, but I have used it in my other diffuser that does take water and my whole room smelled like this. You only need a couple of drops. It's strong, but it smells luxurious, baby. This smells like, oh, you got money. <laughs> Oh, you got money, money. Like, you'll walk into someone's apartment and it smells like this and you're gonna be, like, taken aback. Like, am I walking into some kind of, like, luxury boutique? Like, what's going on here? So if you're into oils, Santal by Romatech is where it's at. The fact that I just have lip liner and clear gloss on right now, kind of living for it. So like I mentioned before, I did get a candle wick trimmer, a stainless steel trimmer to just cut the wick so that you don't create that like black smoke and that suit buildup. And it was only eight bucks. So I'm still waiting on that. I also picked up this adhesive sponge holder. So the way that my sink is, it's not too deep. And all of the like suction style sponge holders would just fall. I don't know what it's called, but I even tried the one that like clips onto the sink like it has like a arm like a stainless steel bracket piece that like clips onto the sink but I just didn't like how that looked it looked a little bulky and I only keep one sponge in there so I just wanted something simple minimal and like inside my sink so that it can be hidden so like when you're looking at the sink you don't see the sponge I know crazy but this one seemed promising it's a four pack and you just you know put your little sponge in there it's just super clean looking and it uses adhesive so I'm gonna try that out because I'm tired of the suction cups. I had one, I think from the brand OXO that I also got on Amazon and I would be sleeping and I would hear like a noise, like a bang and I'm like what the heck is that? It happened a couple of times and then I caught on. It was that the sponge contraption kept falling into my sink and it would just like make like a loud bang. So I was tired of that so I got one with adhesive and the last item that I got is a tongue scraper. I used to always use tongue scrapers in the past since then I just have been using my toothbrush but I wanted to go back to using a tongue scraper. This is going to improve oral hygiene, remove bacteria, and it freshens your breath. And it's just the right thing to do, you know? Clean your tongue. I always do. I do every single day with my toothbrush, but I just don't like the bristles on the tongue. I don't know. It's just not as effective as a tongue scraper. And supposedly the plastic ones aren't as hygienic as the stainless steel ones. So I got one. Well, a two pack and the brand is Master Medi and it comes with a travel case too. Can't really beat that price, $10 for a set of two tongue scrapers. Not bad, not bad at all. So those were all the random things that I got on Amazon. Some were random and some I feel like I truly did need like a wine stopper, some nail care and some items that already became favorites like my gold straws and the essential oil from Aromatech, the Santal oil bomb. Definitely recommend. So I hope that you guys didn't mind a back to back haul but I really just wanted to get this video out out because I am preparing to fill my apartment tour this week which I'm so excited for and those boxes on my table were killing me I want to like clear everything out and make sure everything is picture perfect for you guys don't forget to leave me a comment I love 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 reading your comments also don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Beauty by Rosita I post so much more on there I'm always in my stories posting you know apartment things organization beauty stuff just all types of fun so definitely follow me on there I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one bye guys you know those little fab you know those little balls of like lint welcome to the Bronx let's go with this hair oh no where does those